In this video, we will review how to employ the IPHC Harvester workflow using Deckhand Logbook. This is the Deckhand home screen. On the left-hand side is your events panel. This is where all of your fishing activity will be kept and managed. User preferences can always be accessed using the gear icon on the bottom left. The actions menu can be found by tapping the chevron arrow. When you are ready to be in a trip and are steaming out to the fishing grounds, tap Go Fishing. You will then be met with the first view. All pertinent trip information is entered here. Fields such as the operator and vessel name, state vessel number, and permit number only need to be entered once. When you have entered your information, tap continue to move forward. This next view allows you to configure your fishing gear. You can configure up to 26 gear profiles. Tap add gear ID details to get started. When configuring gear profiles, the gear ID will be used to identify each unique profile you create here. When satisfied with your gear profile, either tap the Add Gear ID Details button to configure more gear, or tap Continue to move forward. In the case of needing to remove a gear profile, simply swipe the gear profile to the left and you will see a red Delete button appear. You are now ready to begin fishing with Deckhand. This is the active fishing screen. To begin, tap Select Fishing Activity. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm selecting Hook and Line. Tap Start Setting to begin. When you tap Start Setting, your location and the date and time is automatically pulled and auto-populated into the Start Set Details view, which you see here. The event numbers automatically count up for each set. In the scenario that you have to delete a set or need to adjust the set number, date, time, or Latin long, all of these fields can be edited. When selecting gear, you'll notice that Deckhand automatically filters through applicable gear based on the fishing activity you selected earlier. Tap Continue Setting when satisfied. This is the Active Setting screen. You will notice the green S pin on the map, which was dropped when you began your fishing activity. As you move to your end set location, you'll notice a track line start to form on the screen. When you're ready to end your set, tap End Setting. Enter your end depth and tap Complete. Notice the blue icon which has appeared on the fishing event you just created. This icon indicates that the gear for this particular set is in the water. At this point, it is essentially rinse and repeat for each subsequent fishing activity you choose to use. When you're ready to haul a set, navigate to the events panel and locate the set you wish to haul. Tap the haul button to begin. A warning will appear asking you to validate your choice. Tap continue and then end haul when your gear is on board. Again, the date and time alongside the location will auto-populate. Tap end haul. This is the catch details view. It allows you to enter all necessary haul information. Anything with a red warning icon indicates a field that must be included. Enter all of your haul information here, including any comments or notes you have. Tap complete to move forward. In the event that you need to edit a fishing set, simply navigate to the events panel, tap on the set in question, hit update, and make the changes. We are now ready to end the trip and head back for delivery. When you're ready to make your delivery, tap the Actions menu button and select End Logbook. This will trigger the Delivery Report event, which you see populate in the Events panel. Enter all delivery information here. Again, notice that the date and time are auto-populated based on when you tap End Logbook. 
Tap complete when satisfied with the information entered. We will now review our logbook and send it to an IPHC field staff agent for their own review. To locate your logbook information, navigate to the top of the events panel and tap on the blue trip header event. Tap IPHC logs to view your logbook. Review the information and ensure that it is accurate. When you are ready to share your logbook with IPHC field staff, tap Send Logbook to Port Sampler at the top of your log. You will see a validation request asking for your consent to share this information with IPHC. To proceed, tap Consent. Enter the PIN you selected when you created your Deckhand account. You will then see an option to share your logs. Select airdrop and wait for the field agent's device to populate here. You must be within a close distance to ensure proper functionality. Select the field agent device. The field agent will now open your log for review. When your log is fully loaded on their device, they provide you with a three digit transfer code. In this scenario, the transfer code is 774. Tap OK to continue. You can only submit your trip log to a field agent once per trip. To send your logbook directly to IPHC, ensure that you are connected to the internet and reopen IPHC logs. Tap Send Logbook to IPHC. This will send your trip log directly to their offices. Tap Consent to move forward. You will receive a green confirmation once your submission is complete. To begin another trip, you must first archive the open trip. To do this, Tap Archive under the blue trip header. Confirm your choice. And notice that the current folder is now empty. And the archived folder hosts our most recent trip. You can still edit and submit trip information from the archive folder. However, you cannot add new phishing activity. This has been a walkthrough tutorial of how to use the IPHC Harvester workflow for Deckhand Logbook. If you have further questions, please contact our support team at 888-884-1947. Thanks for fishing with Deckhand.